Hello, this is Anna Nana. I'm Nana and she is. Mm -mm, she should have left me say my oh, name. You, know what? you take everything. Yes, this is a. We've been arguing. We are still okay, arguing. You know about what? It. No, seriously though. How. Who, uh, why should it be Anna and Nana Nana and Anne? Because short people should be in front. You know what? When I was told this, we were. Anyway, okay. <laughs> uh, hi. Um... <laughs> discovered a few things and those are the impact of social media right now the impact of social media right now banange how do i explain it so i want to share a few things with you first of all from my perspective recently i had an experience so you died <laughs> <laughs> it's not i was funny. waiting for you to say it that it's not funny you died i did I you died, died. so it now. was quite a death <laughs> i died in canada and they didn't just kill me they killed me and my on a boyfriend boat. you on were a rowing boat. on a boat in water as if we have no water here. Even the plants I have <laughs> on my balcony at home, I use boiled water to water them. How I go and drown in Canada, get a visa to go and die in Canada. But this is the funny thing. And anyway, I don't know why we've been laughing. It's not funny. No, it isn't. But the thing is, is that news spread so fast. It spread so fast, which tells you that we have a problem, right? We have a problem right now in this generation with information transfer. And people are able to make up the most negative things. Even the beautiful things. Like recently, I've been trying to do YouTube collaborations mm. with Njugush from Kenya. And someone takes their time to inbox you. Because now you know they're so tight. So mm. you are barriers. Mm. So they go to your inbox and they send you a message like, Hi, Anne. I've always found you hilarious. I think you're brilliant. Oh, my God. I miss, I miss Philip. I miss Grace. I miss Jared. Why are you risking? How can you risk and let your shine get, be dimmed by Njugushi's shine? Ah. Hmm? I sat down and started questioning what had, it was a funny skit. People had come, had like a thousand interesting comments and mm. just two comments in my inbox telling me how, how do you allow to share your shame with Njugush? But that is what people don't understand. See, I watched that skit by the way, <laughs> high five. They were like, top <laughs> them. Mm. It was epic because it had such wit and such humor. Mm. It was different from the comedy we see every day. But for Stop someone it. in yeah, Stop. Agara, 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 <laughs> Stop. you know it. Mm. But for someone to actually sit down and, and miss think, the humor and miss the humor and then start dissecting why you cannot share a spotlight with someone else, right? <laughs> social media has made us. What's the worst they've said about you on social media? Is. Can I say this? Please even? do. Someone attacked my child. And as a mother, it's that's inexcusable. It is. I can't even share what they said. Mm. But I was so traumatized that I went off social media for about three weeks. It was mm, that's epic. real trauma. Yeah. I three can't weeks. Put my phone then for three days. there was the Miss Uganda saga. Please tell me you remember that. The Miss Uganda, when you were a horrible judge, uh, I, I was, was among the people saying, he, 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 nah, I was a dried nice. up old hag mm, who was removing the juices out of the young energy contestants. I was jealous. Contestants. I was jealous. Yeah, I was yeah. jealous. But you know what? Social media, I think, can be used for positive things. Sometimes when you're on a, on a really, really down day, and someone says something about you that's so, so uplifting, something so amazing. Like the other day, there was a photo of you and me. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> we were in over where? Over Dar es Salaam. Mm -hmm. And someone said, you ladies are like sunshine on a rainy that's day. That's all we remembered, by the way. All yeah. the bad comments we didn't remember. You know? But also, I think if YouTube qualifies as social media, for me, YouTube is like my husband. If Sky knows that... I love him, yes, but it's deep loving up to when I meet YouTube. So you and YouTube are in, in love. In all, in all honesty, if YouTube is deemed as social media, it's my first husband. I sat down with uh, Sky, my new boyfriend, yeah. <laughs> and I told him I love you deeply. But the day YouTube manifests itself in a man form, <laughs> <laughs> I'm walking away from you. Just know, because I've I, made... I've made a life, I've made a career from 
YouTube. He went off social media for about three, three weeks. weeks. My goodness. But three you know hours what? without my phone. But I start conversing. But I have inspiration issues. Sometimes I think we need it. Mm -hmm. Do you know you can actually tap into that virtual world and live in that virtual world and just believe everything is okay? Like you have a thousand, five thousand friends and yet none of them are actually physically there. But you convince yourself. You convince yourself that things are fine. Now, I have three things. Twitter is savage. Instagram is for some like... of us who, are, who need a safety net. Facebook. Uh... And yeah, Facebook. Twitter is for those who learnt somebody oh, yeah. in grammar and Wait, understanding. Mama Tendo is on another level. Try that place. You will come out a whole different person. It is like boarding school with a, with, with a headmaster who had like childhood issues. Eh? And they're going to watch this show and abuse us. You I cannot make us any shorter than we already yeah. are. And no, you can't make us any darker. Mm. And mm. any... Uh, English is a hard word. Mm. So I want to ask you, Anne, things have been written about you, your ex-marriage. I have to bring that in because everyone had an opinion. My near marriage. Because <laughs> that <laughs> so was, was a story for marriage. It was 70% hey, It's not marriage. a marriage when they don't even pay your dowry. So let's continue. Okay, when so mm. about your marriage, mm. about your death, mm. recently about your new boyfriend, mm. about you being the host of East Africa's Got Talent. Continue. About ambassador you uh, doing Bank. all these collabs mm -hmm. with Jigush, mm -hmm. about being the ambassador of Standard Chartered. Mm. In all these achievements, you still had what people would term as failures. Mm. And mainly what they would say in your personal life, you've had more failures. In your professional life, you've had successes. Mm. I want you to tell me how it has felt on both sides. When you are the same person trying to do a really good job of your life, but you have to deal with this negativity and all these good things happening for you. So I just want you to share with us, really, how it feels when someone goes as far as to pronounce you dead without even thinking about the impact on every single person around you. You know, I relate this question. When you were asking, something else came to mind. People always ask how, how, how do you, how did you, how do you deal with being popular? How did when I leave my house in the morning, I'm not popular. Mm, mm. When, when I'm within my space, I'm a normal human being. Till a third party sees me in a different light, and suddenly I'm like, I, I don't think I am a normal. You start, remember, <laughs> you start going through your day. Did I brush my teeth this morning? When I woke up, what did I do when I woke up this morning? Did I, did I, did, you're like, is my breath good enough? Should I mm. get close and beat them a whisper or stay at this stage? Yes. You don't know. You, you, I don't feel... I don't, I don't feel or really quite understand how people see me. T see, till I'm face to face with either a comment that is telling me something, and then I'm like, I didn't prepare myself for this. I didn't know I'm a witch doctor. I'm a witch doctor. <laughs> what, what, how can someone tell me that I'm a witch doctor? But the recent thing that happened that really turned most of the people around me in and out was the death announcement. My sister, our firstborn, Asimwe yes. Olive, yes. had gone to for a confirmation party about like six hours away from Kanungu. She stays in Kanungu. Yeah. And she had gone to confirm her child at a boarding school. So on her way back, she found a tent in her compound. Here's the thing. When good things like, you say I'm a host of East Africa's Got Talent, when good things like those happen, you don't have streaming in congratulation messages mm. running in. Your phone is not buzzing off the hook mm. telling you congratulations. Mm -hmm. That's not what's, what's going on. So she had gone to her son's confirmation party at her boarding school, right? Mm. And then she's driving towards her home. Four hours of driving of you. Long day. We had not talked for like two weeks, but she knew I'd come back from Germany. And then she's getting to her gate and she sees a tent. Here's the thing about villagers. They know how to show up for you. All the time, because they are beginners all the time where yes, I contribute. Yes. If I die, my coffin is already bought. So they came with mabugo. Mabugo are things you bring for someone when they've lost someone. They had cooked. There was a party going on. She, she feared to get out of her car and said, I can't lose another person. Someone needs to tell me what has happened. They had received news that my sister, who, who lives in, in the UK, is the one who had died. Allen, my twin. Yeah. They actually, they said, a sister who lives there, is that who has died there with a boyfriend? So they got the news haphazardly. So they figured, ah, it's, the, it's Alan, the one who is outside country, who has died. Not me who had returned. So there was already a video. I need you, the trauma goes from your mother getting a heart attack at a, 
scripture uh, at a, a mother's union she enters and everyone is saying hi but not looking at her because they don't know how to tell her sorry your daughter has died mm. it's trauma you know and then when you get all these phone calls these are people you, sometimes you won't even pick your mom you think she's probably telling you about money for some chibina mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. you don't want to get in touch with them i can't it's it's hard to explain how hard it is for me to sit down and think that of all the things anyone can think in the world they eliminated you. They chose that you should not be there. You not being there is what will sell their story. And, and it's just the beginning. Because I'm going to be on my YouTube as much as I can to tell my story before you people kill me prematurely. <laughs> Back in the day when we're in Hollywood, um, MySpace, I think it was MySpace that had just come in. My who? I'm old. Who's please space? Please don't, please don't. Could it anyone was, be it in your space? It was called myspace.com. <laughs> it was our Facebook. But anyway, just to pick up on that, that was the dawn of social media before Zuckerberg brought us Facebook. Mm -hmm. That makes me old, I know, but it is the truth. So, she's 42. I, I continue. Topic for another day. So, I am, mm -hmm. I am at the height of my, I would say, career. Mm -hmm. Because I had abandoned so much to try and, and, and become an actress. And I had sacrificed a lot and I had, um, every day was a prayer that someone could see something different in me. That a director would say, you know what, that girl over there, she is exactly what we're looking for. Mm. And then my break started coming. I started out with a commercial for KFC and there I was. I was the face of KFC. Then I went on to become the face of KFC Dove. chicken. Yes, in the US. And then I went on to become the face. <laughs> and you ended up <laughs> KFC you should you have a you, you, I don't you, know. No, look at they this They should mess. sue you. Look at this mess. You have not sold them properly. I know. No matter if the contract But I was ended. a sexy KFC eater. Continue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those Sex things of chewing a wing, eater. just like this. PG, okay. PG mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, after KFC, <laughs> it was a worldwide air. I went on to do Dove. I was in Amy Winehouse's video, Lenny Dove Kravitz. Dove is not for the poor in high school. You Couldn't know, I, I was like in music videos. I was on an um, off-Broadway play called uh, Butterflies of Uganda that won an award, an NAACP award as the best actress. But Nanginga, things are happening. If I can tell you that, then I went on to CSI New York, another show called The Life. I did his Just Not That interview with Ben Affleck. Stop. Okay, I want now, to just tell us. Now, I'm, I'm telling please, you please. all these things because even as they were coming, not one single person could say to me, maybe you broke a barrier or you are phenomenal. Not one person, maybe not those one. who you wanted to hear. You I from? will tell you today, not one, not a single friend. Ironically, they have now come back years later. I would even say 10 years later after watching it maybe on DSTV and their reaction is more disbelief. Like it can't be you twali, you know? They're more comfortable rejecting my achievements than rejoicing in them because it validates their, I don't know, their life or I don't know, I can't make up my mind. When you're achieving a lot, and not a single person can look you in the eye and say, well done, or rather, thank you for trying. Or, you know, there's this black girl from Uganda. I'm not your typical, at the time, I was in your typical pretty girl as too dark, too muscly. We are still struggling with your pretty now. beat. Anyway. <laughs> Maybe it's a struggle. So, to me, as far as I know, as the first Ugandan actress after Elizabeth Bagaya, who did Queen of the Jungle, to actually what? grace the international stage on television and film. And somehow I got lost in the shuffle, even more so in Uganda because they refused to acknowledge my achievements and they continue to refuse. If you continue to speak that English now, they we shall not accept you in Uganda. Uganda. Right now we have Anyway, come social home. media for mm -hmm. me mm. is a place where I try to avoid. It is, and maybe it will change, simply because when I was at the top of my game, nobody wanted to know what I had done, what I'd achieved. Then in retrospect, there's a history thing that comes up, and suddenly people are now on Facebook talking about the things I achieved. 
And yes, I can buy into that now. You just wish they would be in there now. I wish they could be in there now. Oh, if they would there, there. Yes, and I wish they would try and know, know me because I am, in order to have been that person that broke that barrier, that became that formidable person, you need to learn me before you judge me. And yet on social media... It's easy for them to throw toilet paper I to know, speak. So to I call me see. things and to do whatever. So, so we are still going to grow strong. Yes. With whatever comments you bring our way. Yes. We are not going to lose height. Yes. I'm not going to quit comedy. I'm going to do... I plan on doing collaborations with as many... Wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. What did you just say? You're not going to lose what? To quit comedy. No. The lose height. Before the you know what? We are not going they're, to lose height. They're, they're, they're counting us down because we, us you down. know, we have a team in production and they're I feel doing like this. you're being violent. They're, security! They're <laughs> so, did, did we hire security on It's not in our budget. Okay, but, guys, uh, I think, let's, let's but just... We have, we have someone on the other side in a white t-shirt. We have a director <laughs> jumping behind the camera. Who does that? To just anyway, to this <laughs> is an Anana. And Banging hopefully KB. our first episode mm. you will watch. We're getting better with time. But we just wanted to come to you and do what? And make a noise in your face. Yes. So until the next time we're here, ciao, chatting. Ciao.